Fishing Down South TV with your girl, 3G. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Another day, another video. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of these videos. Not no fishing video, but a lot of regular videos. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I should engage with y'all more. You feel me? But, um, yeah, so today, if y'all haven't already seen, we're at Academy. You feel what I'm saying? We're at Academy, and I have to re-up on my base. It's springtime. I have to get new lures, new trailers, new soft plastic, new worms. All that stuff. I have to get all that new stuff. Actually, I'm really um just trying to fill up my pond hopping bag because I organized all my stuff the other night, and I realized I need to revamp on everything re-up on everything change certain baits um i need to get new colors all that stuff i got my kayak stuff all together um but i still need more more really i really need more because you just never know and half that stuff i probably don't even use you feel what i'm saying and that's another reason why i want to get new things new uh lures and baits and stuff is because half the stuff that i have i don't use or don't work out here you feel what i'm saying so yeah um y'all want more of these videos i already know what to do man like comment and subscribe to that channel click that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i post any more videos to fishing down south tv with who y'all girl 3g looking for a plethora of things as I, as I already stated um, I'm looking for, I wish I had somebody to record with me to do a look through this with me to be honest hold the camera and stuff while I pick out these baits but because um, it's gonna be kind of hard just to record and actually concentrate at the same time I'm gonna sit here and see what I can find if I pick up some I'll pick the camera back up so all right I'm looking for all right, so what I want is on the spinner bait, spinner baits, chatter baits, deep diving cranks, lipless cranks, stick baits. I want one jerk bait, and I'm probably gonna get some. Um, oh yeah, some square bills. And what else did I say? I wanted some frogs. You know, just stuff I can use during springtime, you know, and certain colors too as well that I want, that I'm going to pick out, because I don't have a lot of good colors. I have colors that's like, you know, that I don't, they don't work. You should put it like that, colors that don't work. So, let's see. Strike King, Red Eye Shad. Heard this was good. Heard this does great. So, I'll probably use this in like sunny weather something like that or should I get the red hmm I think if I should do something hmm okay so I've known for a red rattle traps to work for uh, red lipless cranks to work and this one looks like the frit side that um berkeley makes and it's the red crawfish so this is the color one of the colors that i'm looking for is a red color and it's a lipless and it's a rattle trap best of both worlds two favorites also looks like a, a craw and that's what they're going to be feeding on this summer so yeah let's get one of those i ain't gonna lie y'all i really want a mag drive can't lie I really want one of these mag drives, man. I feel like somebody tried to open it already. Because I've never used one. And I've heard, I've seen them get great big bass. But this one looks all messed up. And I'm not paying $25 for, for this one. I'm not doing that. I want to do a budget-friendly spring um, tackle bag. Because... At this point, I'm going to be spending over almost $200. So, therefore, let's do this. Okay, boom. Here we go. $10. It's HTOX Academy brand. You get three lipless, you get one Cardad color, you get one um, chrome, and you get one shag, shag color. That's the best you can do. Like, that's great. Like, that's going to be one of this is the pack that you can get. And you can go out on the water and catch big fish just for eleven dollars. That's great. I like Academy and their prices. This trout bag and this red eye shad bag. I 
find nothing purple, but like, you still find this striped here with this. We have some pinkish purple on top. So I feel like it looks pretty good to me. I like the color. I would, if I was a girl, so I'd eat it. I'd eat it. Um, also, I found this Rapala deep diver cream. It's purple in it, green on top. I guess it's a bluegill type color thing. So. I could do something with that. Um, I don't know. Should I get this color? I already have something in purple. So let's try them out. I don't really see a lot of people use their baits. Hmm. Be diving cream bait. Now, this don't get no fish. I don't know what it would. Should I get a chatterbait? Let's get a chatterbait I don't have. Oh, I haven't used yet, which is what's the color? This shad color. That's probably my favorite color to use at this point. It's a shad. I haven't had one of these yet, though. So let's get that. Look at that color. That's sick. Wow. Alright, 
with y'all. So I literally have everything that I wanted, everything that I need. And we're gonna go check out, go home and take everything out and put it in my bag so y'all can see everything I have and what I'm gonna use it for. So let's get to the register and get out of here. All right, y'all, we made it to the house. And as y'all can see, it is dark outside now and I was contemplating on finishing up this video today or tomorrow. But let's see. All right, so first thing first is we really need to get, we need to get my tackle box in my bag. This is the bag right here that I'm going to be filling up. Y'all, I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie, I spent so much, I spent way more money than I was supposed to. Way more money. Uh, okay, so I just found out that I need another tackle box, which I already had one laying around. Boom. So I think I'm gonna put my hooks in here and then all my other stuff in here. Because I'm gonna keep my plastics in the bag. Y'all, I really went overboard. Like, I was sitting here calculating, thinking I was only gonna spend no more than 150 170 I spent $226 on new baits and lures. That's overboard. It might be cheap to some of y'all, but for me, that's a lot. That's a lot. But I love what I do, so I'm not really tripping on it. It is what it is. As long as y'all comment, subscribe, and like the video, we good. We good. So, let's get it. All right, so what I do is, to, to make room for my tackle box, I always just put the same lures in one area of the tackle box, like the one slot. All right, wait. We're gonna go right there. Oh, all right, first two. Okay. So, lipless going in. Got the craw shit, the craw red craw color right there. The metallic, the chrome with the blue on top. That's fire, bro. Then you got the sexy shade, bro. The natural red eye. Let's go. All right. Next, we have the medium diver in the holographic shade color. Medium diver. And y'all can see this is like my little fish room slash shed slash laundry room type thing going on so y'all bear with me like i said the lightning and all that but it is what it is so all right this is how it looks oh this is oh oh oh, oh. all right h2o8 this is by academy this is their their brand allure and color you know i like it all right deep dive in the room. Next, we have our two swim baits. Oh, wait. I had to get one. I had to put one back, so I kept the one. I kept the what's this, what's this, clear sexy shad. I kept this one because the other one, I kind of already got that color scheme on other shads, so I just kept this one. So. Uh, most of my stuff is really by uh, Academy because they had the more reasonable prices, Lord. Besides Zoom. Oh man, look at that. Can't tell me that ain't gonna get eight. Can't tell me that ain't gonna get eight. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, now this is my spring collection, y'all. So if y'all like what I got, let me know down below. You feel me? So the oh shoot. Next I have <laughs> my top water uh jerk bait. Got my top water jerk bait and the ghost shad color so why not i know i probably got a lot of shad color ish things colors lures but fish love shad fish love shiners fish love uh what you call them things uh bait they just love bait and all the bait that i really see we really see out here in alabama is the small white baits i mean i'm pretty sure that's everywhere in the country but you work, you you get, you use what, you use what works. You know what I'm saying? You use what works. You feel me? So, boom. That's what that looks like. This looks like it's going to eat. Like, they going to eat this up, bro. One of my first 
not my first jerk bait, but this is gonna be the first year, the first time in this year that I'm gonna use jerk bait. So and I'm gonna catch a fish on it. Watch, just watch. All right, next we have the double plop in the bone color. Uh, the double plop in the bone color academy as well. I think I only have like one or two. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna use it. All right, <clears throat> so boom. This is like a sit up. Like a I'm gonna crack it before I even get to use it. I'm gonna bust it, and then all the water is gonna seep into it, and I won't be able to. It won't swim like it's supposed to. Okay, boom. All right. So this is my little form of a whopper plopper. Well, H. Well, Academy's form of a whopper. So hopefully these right here stay work like they're supposed to. Whoa, look at that. And that's some action, man. Woo, that red eye. Woo, what? It's gold. Let's go. All right, put that in there. Next, we have the deep diver, which is what I needed. And it's in the white, what is this? Pearl red eye, so the pearl. Not white, it's pearl. Well, pearl white, but yeah. Red eye. Boom. Also by Academy. Using Academy lures all year. Now that's the challenge. Using Academy lures only all year. All year. Oh man. All right. Look at this big deal, bro. Red eyes. If this don't get nothing in, I don't know what will. I don't know what will, bro. And it dives six to eight feet. So that's like perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Right there, like kind of in the middle on certain on certain times. All right, y'all. Now that I did, okay, so I might just keep this one in the box that it came in because it's so big. I'm trying to see if I got any more. Any more? No. Uh, so, all right. So this one right here, I'm gonna just leave outside. The, I'm gonna leave it in the box. This is the Power Bait Coal, coal Shad. Put that in the bag. Boom, pad crasher, bro. Popping pad crasher. These colors are dope. If y'all didn't see it in the store, these colors are dope, man. Look at that. If that don't get me nothing, I never caught a fish on the frog. So, I'm going to catch a fish on the frog. I done spent $12 on this. I'm catching a fish on the frog, bro. I'm catching one. So, um, should I keep this in the box? I should keep it in the box. In the box. All right. Next, we have our... Bladed jigs, spinner jigs, bladed, jig. well, bladed spinner, whatever y'all want to call them. Um, it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But yeah, this I got this one. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep it in the bag. I mean, in, the, in the container. Well, I want to take it out, but I don't have no room in this in this uh, tackle box for that. So I just take it out when I'm ready to use it. All right, so I have some electric shad uh, paddle tail swimmers. Yeah, let you say I paddle toast with five inches each. This is <clears throat> uh oh I already said it. Electric shad color. It got some sparkles in it, some blue purple sparkles. I have some underspins and a jig head that I could put on this. So that's why I got those. And these are more mainly my trailers right here, these ready swimmers. Uh I have the what is these? The rage cutter words, black and blue fluke. Bruh, if this don't give me a biggie on a bed, I don't know what it is. Then I have the gas. This is my favorite lure. The Oak, wait, yeah, the Okeechobee Craw lure, bruh. Soft plastic. This is my favorite. This one and the June Bug, which I have. Bam! That's my favorite two colors. My favorite two colors, favorite two baits. Probably the only ones that catch me actual fish on the bed are these two. No cap. So, boom, got that. Now, what I've learned in Alabama, in the city I'm in, all the lizards that I've seen are brown. And so I feel like this color is going to be so gas, bro. This pumpkin chart, that's going to be the six inch lizard with the little chartreuse tail on the end. Man, that's going to be gas. You feel me? And look, then this right here is the bait I caught my first big fish on 
and I had to go and grab a watermelon color because the black and blue it works great and the um I don't even know what color I had that it wasn't even a June bug it was more like a brown purple blue it was all type of color it was like a multicolor brush hog but I had got the watermelon brush hog bro I don't care what y'all say I don't care if it's a beginner I don't care if it's if it's childish to use bro these work gas when I say gas I mean they work bro they work brush hogs work don't let nobody tell you different then they got these black red and glitter products man are you crazy not to pick these up you crazy but when i when i tell you red and black is the shit it's the shit all right we're coming down to the last one man the last trailers which is the flutes now what color is this sexy shed it, it, i don't see how this is sexy shed i guess because of the green uh, the green sparkles in and stuff like that but yeah, I haven't seen this color, so I feel like if I put it on the trailer on a crazy ass jig, might get a bite. Bite, you feel me? So yeah, then I got some um some more lime. So yeah, that's literally every. Well, no, it's not everything because I have other stuff. I have other stuff. I'm gonna say I know I have about more. All right, boom. So we have our Strike King Buzz Bait, Chartreuse and White. You feel me? don't have a i have a buzz bait but it's black so i can't use that all the time but i can use the chartreuse of white damn near throughout the day type of shit so keep this in here until it's ready to be used let's see what else all right we got some yum stick baits in the gilly soup color now i was debating on this color or watermelon red so i was like i always get watermelon red why not try something different I know um, the watermelon color in the red, it kind of works better in clear water, stuff like that. But I feel like if it had just a speckle of like some different type of color, like this got orange and blue in it, orange and blue sparkles in it, that's dope. Never seen a worm like that, a stick bait like that. So I feel like something they ain't never seen, something I ain't never seen, they're gonna eat it, you feel me? So keep that in the back. All right, and this is the gas, bro. I was gonna get two packs of these, but I had got end up getting so much stuff. I just went in and got one. I'll go back and get some more. Nobody's using these. Nobody's using these, man. Then they got something that's bigger than this. Like they got something that's what size is this? Two, two to seven, two point seven five. Uh, how would you say that? Not two and a quarter. It's a little over two and a quarter. So, yeah. But Canada Crawl Color Ned Rig Z Man work great. I use a whole pack in one day. That's how good they are. A whole pack in one day. No cap. I thought, like I said, I thought it was on the last one, but I think this is the last one. Yeah, because everything else is put. All right, this is the last one. This is a trailer. These are horny toad frogs, all white. I try, I'm try. i trying something different this year, bro. I'm trying something different. Trailers, because everybody uses the same trailers. The Rage Swimmer trailer, the Cross trailer, um, the Paddle Tail trailer. I rarely see people use the horny toad on their gigs and stuff like that and i know you can also use it on a um, buzz bait which i do have a buzz bait in the house uh with the frog on it and i also have other color frogs too but like i said that's for my kayak so either way i can use all of it because this is my pine hopping bag and then um i have and then I have a uh, setup for my kayak. Okay, most of the stuff that I already have is kind of the sim kind of similar, but it's really different colors. So, yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm going to put my bag together, and then I will let see let y'all see my bag and the tackle box and everything. How I got it all set up. Be right back. All right, y'all. The pond hopping bag is complete. Have everything I need in here. And then I realized I forgot I had this little tackle box. So I just put all the, uh, the hooks and weights and stuff that I needed in there. And then these are all my soft plastic right here. All my soft plastics. And then down here is where my tackle boxes are. I went ahead and put the uh, spinner bait and the frog in this one. And then all the other ones are in that. Right 
just to show y'all. This is everything. All right. And this is all my treble hooks, my deep diving, my jerk bait. This is all I would need for this spring of 2024. I feel like. So, y'all already know, man. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you be notified anytime I post any more videos. The Fishing Down South TV with who? Y'all girl, Dree G. And y'all let me know what y'all think. I feel like this is all I'm gonna need for the spring 2024. I may go out and get more. I don't know. I don't think I should. I'm, I feel like I'm set. You feel what I'm saying? But if I'm missing anything, y'all let me know down below in the comments. Uh, let me know what y'all favorite lure is to use during the spring. And um, yeah, so we're gonna use these in the next video. Maybe, maybe not next video. I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, well, we're gonna use all of this, and hopefully, I get good reviews. Hopefully, I catch big bass. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, till next time, y'all.